What's going on guys? Uh, JT with a quick unboxing of the Hillian Avenge 10MT XB. Now this is the brush version. I got this one for the reason of I have tons of brushless systems I can put in here. So I'm probably going to end up putting the Arma system in here and then um, getting getting a pinion gear that's got a 5mm shaft to fit on this. So um, I hadn't put a video up yet but basically these are all on sale. This used to be $269. Now it's $149.99. And then the brushless version is $199.99. Like I said, one of the reasons why I didn't get the brushless system, the one that has the brush system in it, because I have several of them I'm going to actually exchange out. So there's no use of me spending the extra 50 bucks just to go brushless when I have that. Um, they're basically the same, except for, of course, the body's different, and the system's going to be different as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, crack this box open real quick. All right, so popping this thing open, and you guys know, as always, Gotta love the smell of a new car. So, um, comes with an instruction manual, of course. Uh, a couple of Allen keys in there. And not sure what these two screws are for. It's probably something in the instructions talking about that. But, basic uh, instruction booklet manual that comes with that. Um, this is, of course, going to be your controller in here. It's gonna have the charger and the battery, I see, as well. So here's the battery, of course it comes with 8.4 volt nickel metal battery, which I will not be using at all. That's just a good paperweights for me, especially at 1800 milliamps. And I don't, okay, there's the charger. I was going to say, I don't see the charger, but of course here's the charger right here. And take a look at the radio real quick. Alright, so this is a look at the radio, the ET3 radio. I've had, if you guys have seen some of my videos, I've had this radio before and I didn't have any complaints or anything for this as well. So it gives you a pretty good reception and stuff with it. And has your basic uh, adjustments on there and it also has uh, EPA for your throttle as well. So you can actually turn on the throttle with this as well. So I'm going to get this truck pulled out real quick. Alright, it's getting a little noisy in here. So anyway, I got that body off of there. Um, the Willy bar does not come assembled, so that's what those two screws are for. They're for your Willy bar, so you can go ahead and set the adjustment points on here. I'm probably going to raise this up pretty high, um, probably because I'll be doing some jumping and stuff with this as well. And I know my boy uh, Tom Tracks, so I'll give a quick shout out to him, uh, recently took advantage of this deal as well and got one. So I'm going to get these body pins off real quick. All right, so real quick, I got the body off real quick. I probably will be reinforcing this body, at least where those body mount holes are um, with that um, because that is kind of a weak point on most of these 10 scale trucks that have um, the holes in the back of it. So this does come, I went ahead and uh, took this off. It does come with a shroud or a cover to protect the inside of the chassis to keep dirt and stuff getting in there, which is good. Uh, the inside of this kind of probably looks familiar to some of you guys. It does look similar to a Stampede 4x4. Um, in a way, but this is the brush version. Um, this doesn't come with the adjustable uh, turnbuckles. I thought th I thought it did, but it actually doesn't. So, which is kind of a surprise to me. I was like, oh, okay. Um, but those two screws that we saw in the bag, those are going to be for the Willy bar. We can actually put the screws in there. I'll probably adjust this up just a little bit more because um, I'll probably have it to where it's. A little bit higher there because I won't be doing too much power in this. I'm probably going to put my armor system in here because I have one of those and I also have a, um, a castle system I can put in here as well. So I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with that. But um, one good thing about this is going to be that it has LED lights in the front and then also, as you guys see there, right there in the rear. So we'll be um, get this up a little bit more so you guys can see that. Uh, in the rear as well, so I can be doing uh, a little bit more night runs with this when I do it at night You guys will actually see the car instead of squinting until the car <laughs> runs past me So um, it does come with this brush system like I said This is a I think this is a 12 turn 550 motor and a 40 amp speed controller But it's waterproof which is fine, but I'll be like I said swapping that out and Putting a different system in here as well. So um, guys, it's like I said, that's a quick look at this I'm not gonna go too in-depth. I want to go ahead and get the brushless system in here 
and get this in before this store closes and get a couple of runs and then give you guys some of my thoughts as I'm actually putting that stuff in here as well. So um, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. And I'm giving a quick shout out to my boy Tom. I know you got one as well. Um, and I'm going to change it out and put a different brushless system in this one to get this one running. So um, we'll have to do some uh, some combining of our YouTube channels and maybe doing a, a speed run on both to, to see how fast we can get these things up to. So anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.